Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're preparing for the GCSE exams, We're doing a foundation paper two, looking at a first class maths paper. Now, it's question 15 in this paper, so a topic that could also come up in, in higher. So the table shows information about the mass of 40 sheep, and we're gonna work out the estimated mean. So it's in intervals here, zero and 20. Got to find the midpoint first. So it's 10, because we don't know where those six lie in the zero to 20. So we just assume and estimate uh, that we can use the midpoint as, as an average. Okay, so then for the next category, 20 to 30, 20 to 40, we'll use 30. 40 to 60, we'll use 50. 60 to 80, we'll use 70. We're just going to make the assumption that that's a fair approximation for their mass. Then we need to do the midpoint times the frequency to get the mass for all six of those. That'll be 60. It is a calculator paper, so I can do 15 times 30 on the calculator. It's 450. 25 times 50 is 1250. And four times 70 should be 280. But if I'm in the habit of using the calculator, I'll do that. Then we're gonna sum those. Okay, so we're gonna put those all into the calculator. 60 plus 450 plus 1250 plus 280. We'll get 2040. So that's the total mass between, shared between those uh, 40 sheep. So now what we have to do is to get the estimated mean, we take the total mass and we divide it by the number of sheep. So I'm going to do 2040 divided by 40. And this is a, it's a three mark question. So I'm hoping we'll get a couple of marks for that, a mark for that step, and then a, a mark for the final answer. Again, it's a calculator question, so 2040 divided by 40 is 51. Now, it's always worthwhile, so final answer to fit in there is 51 kilograms. Having a look to see, does that kind of make sense? Number one, it's got to be within the interval. It's not less than zero, it's not negative, it's not greater than 80. Um, the modal category is uh, this one here, 40 to, to 60, so uh, having 51 falling in that makes sense, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's three marks in just under three minutes. Let's continue on to the next question, because it's algebra, and I always find these algebra ones quite straightforward, because I don't have to do a lot of reading. And I've just got to solve for x. Uh, 18x minus 5 equal to 2x plus 7. And this is the kind of question that I like in an exam, because I just have to com compute it. I don't have to comprehend it, in a sense. just have to solve. So I'm going to use opposite operations on balance method. Opposite of 2x is subtract 2x, so take away 2x on both sides, and then add 5 on both sides. So I've subtracted 2x on both sides, and I've added 5 on both sides. Subtracting 2x cancels it there and makes that 16x. Add 5 cancels it there and add 5 there. Now 16x equals 12. 12 over 16. Let's simplify that. They're both even. So 6 over 8. So three quarters. And I could just check that on my calculator. That's the final answer. I just write that down there. It's again, it's three marks. It's actually quite a lot of marks for what I've done there. X equals three over four. But let's just, because we've got time, again, it's just over four minutes. I'm going for a mark a minute with two three minute questions. I should do this all in six minutes. So I've got time to maybe do 18 times 0.75 minus 5 gives me 17 over 2. So am I, what do I get 17 over 2 on the other side? 2 times 0.75 plus 7 equals 17 over 2. So I've checked both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Makes sense. Okay, there we go. That's six marks, some algebra and some estimated mean. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And good luck for your exams.